Welcome to Durham Foundry. This video shows the stages in the production of the iron castings we make. All castings start with a pattern which is a replica of the final casting made in wood or resin. In this case, it's the red ring. Moulds are made from a resin and catalyst bonded sand. The mixed sand being rammed around the pattern to create the mould. When the sand has hardened, the pattern is removed from the mould and if required, a refractory coating is applied to the mould face and fired off. Loose pieces of sand, called cores, can be placed in the mould to create pockets and undercuts in the final casting. The two mould halves are then put together and prepared for pouring. All our cast irons are melted in one of two coreless induction furnaces. For this melt, the molten metal is being treated to produce a ductile cast iron. The molds are cast from a ladle suspended in an overhead crane. Molten iron enters the mould through a series of channels that are created during moulding called pouring bushes, down pegs, runner bars and in gates. After cooling, the casting is removed from the mould and the sand processed for reuse. The castings are then fettled to remove the runner system and joint line flash. Shot blast to remove any loose sand, inspected and finally packed for dispatch to the customer. If you'd like any further information on the products we produce or the services we offer, please contact us on castings at durhamfoundry.com